Thanks very quickly. My big purple monster truck is fast. 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 He's fast like lightning. Lightning is only My big purple fast monster truck is loud. He's loud like thunder. What? I love my Big, purple, fast, loud, monster truck. Every morning, I hurry to get dressed. Then I race to the kitchen for breakfast. My giant monster truck watches me eat eat all my pancakes and sausages. Monster trucks don't eat breakfast. I give him a hug instead. I love it. Oil. Yes, that's probably correct. Oil. My big monster truck goes everywhere with me. I take him along to Grandma's house. Grandma's house. Together, we play all day. My grandma makes lunch for me. She signs, no, eat, and points to my monster truck. I laugh. Monster trucks can't eat lunch. <laughs> probably the oil in there. <laughs> At Grandma's house, my purple monster truck loves to play monster truck games. <laughs> Grandma has lots of other monster trucks for us to play with. Ooh. First, I line up all the monster trucks and have a parade. Oh, we learned parade last time. Parade, a parade. Then, I build ramps. I laugh when the trucks make tracks in, in, in the mud. But in the mud. Very fun, very fun. Watch! My monster truck gets ready to race. Can you? Can you count down with me? Three. Two, one, go! My monster truck zooms up the ramp. Woo! Very, very cool. He lands with all four wheels back on the ground. He makes a loud roaring engine sound. Vroom! My fast monster truck spins in a cloud of dust. Everyone cheers! Woo! Exactly. Look! My purple monster truck flipped over. A tow truck will come and tow him away. Then I will fix him with my wrench. Wrench. He will be good as new. My monster truck goes everywhere with me. That reminds me because um, yesterday my mom used the wrench to set up a game table. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you can use a wrench for lots of things. Actually, that was two days ago. Two days ago. Wrench. At night, I feel tired. Going to monster truck shows is hard. Oh, work. Monster trucks. Mom tucks me into bed. She says, good night. Good night. Good night.
When morning comes, I wake up. But where is my loud monster truck? He's gone. I run through the house. I yell, monster truck, where are you? My big purple monster truck is lost. Mom, help me, please. I have tears in my eyes. I say, my big monster truck is gone. Did anyone see where the monster truck went? No. My monster truck goes everywhere with me, but where is he? I don't see. I feel sad. I see a purple one. I miss my monster truck. No, that's not. That I feel not afraid. Not. That's a cute I hope he's okay. So it's just thinking about the, the monster truck right now. No, like blue. Oh yeah, there's another. It's a different car. Yeah. 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 Just then, the door opens. It's Grandma. She signs. Surprise! Grandma showed up. Grandma smiles. She hands me my monster truck. Oh, thank you, Grandma. I smile. My biggest smile. Oh, I, I have my big purple fast loud monster truck. <laughs> and he is safe. I am happy. My monster truck will always go everywhere with me. And that's the end. Yay! Yay! Yes, I have a short song. Just thinking, I, I love that book because he was able to have so much fun imagining fun things to do with the monster truck. And I think that that's a good thing to do when you are able to play. You can imagine things that you might not be able to do. Anyways, so this is a song called Imagining Things, and here it is. If you're a part, if you're together.
as you know. Yep. Well, welcome to Craft Corner. Welcome to Craft Corner. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. That's good. Look. Yes. What does this remind it, you of? It reminds me of a vehicle. Well, it's supposed to be a race car. Yeah. Because it's got the little numbers on it. And, yeah. Yeah. Because when you're racing around the track in a, in a car, you got to make sure you're keeping track of who's who. So that's mm -hmm. why the numbers are there. Yep. So yeah. So this is a part of our program. Remember earlier we called it Vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. woo, vroom, vroom, yep. All right, well let's get to going here. Let me show you what supplies we're gonna need. I have a guess as to what one supply is. What is it? Uh, is it, oh, this toilet paper oh, tube? Toilet paper tube. <laughs> we love the toilet paper tube here at yeah. reading time. Man. Very, very versatile. Yes, you know? we've Lots made a crafts. lot of fun crafts. Okay, first we're gonna need a piece of construction paper. Okay. This is for the body of the car, and we're gonna cut that into a four by six. Four by piece. six inches. Four by, yeah, four inches by six inches mm -hmm. piece. Then you are also going to need some black cardstock for the tires. Okay. Some white cardstock to put in the middle of the tires. Right. It's gonna look like this. But as you might or might not know, a tire is a wheel, which is a circle. Yes, it's true. I'm and, I'm very good. I'm very good at cars. Oh, because you're a taxi. <laughs> yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm a taxi. <laughs> okay, okay. Good, sorry. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got some yellow um, cardstock as well, but that was. It's kind of you know. It's just like whatever. But it kind of just finishes. I put red on here, but we're gonna use yellow on our Ooh. example. Multicolored. So, then we also had some stars that we're gonna just ah, yes. decorate the car with. Little glitzy car. I have some number stickers, which um, you could probably find. I got these off of Amazon, <gasps> but oh. um, you could probably find them at the craft stores. In the you can also stores. just write the number. Hey. Yeah, get a marker. Get a marker. <laughs> but I like these number, number All right. stickers. Now these are just kind of an extra thing mm -hmm. that I happen to have in my house. Yes. These little people, the little phone people. I bought them years and years ago and never knew what to do with them. So. And now we do. And now we do. There we go. Little people to but drive the, the you vehicles. Might, you might not be able to find them if you're doing this at home. So. That's okay too. All right. So, so we have those supplies. We have our ruler. This is a hole punch because you're going to need to cut holes. Yay. Circles. Yep. Circles. Sorry. No, that's good. Which are two inches around. Mm -hmm. And then there's... You don't need to have the hole punch, but it is... It's easier to make helpful. a nice... nice. It's easier for Miss Barb to cut <laughs> a Bar bunch of circles Ms. for Barb you. Miss <laughs> Barb is circle cutting. And, uh, yeah, I'm not the best. Not the best that it is. <laughs> that's okay, too. Glue stick. Scotch tape. Yes. Um, yep, and then the scissors to cut your scissors. four inch by six inch uh, all right. rectangle. All right, is that all we need? Um, I believe so. Oh, I think well, one of the stickers fell off. I got it. Yeah. There we go. Okay. There we go. I'll put, I'll put them there. All right. And what are we going to do first? First, grab your toilet tissue tube. And it's grabbed. I've pre cut the body which I have pre-lost. Here it is. <laughs> there we go. So we're doing a purple body and we've just cut it to the width of exact, of the exact width of the toilet paper tube and then enough for it to go all the way around like that. There you go. So this step, um, I decided to use scotch tape rather than glue okay. to attach the paper. Okay. So first let's get a little bit around the tube, tube. and then tape, okay. the, tape it down and then all we're right. gonna roll it. So kind of like this, I'll show you a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Okay. That's perfect. Boom, boom, boom. And then go ahead and just roll it. Uh, keep it a little tight. A little, a little tight, a little tight. And then we're gonna put uh, tape on either end, so. Okay, make sure it's real secure at both ends. Then. Yep, so we're gonna use two pieces of tape for this one. Okay, that's good. We've done this before where we use glue. 
but for this is a little faster. time's sake. Yeah. Yes. And it, look, it, it's on there, it's just fine. And then you can just put the seam on the bottom where no one will see it. Mm -hmm. Thoughts with Miss Callie. Okay. Yep, that'll, that'll require when you're putting on the wheels that you keep it at the bottom. Okay. So I pre-made two of the wheels for you, but I'll nice. kept two so you can okay. do them yourself. Oh, I like this paper. I don't know if you can see, it kind of has some texture to it. Yep. It's, called, it's called textured cardstock. Very nice. All right, Miss Callie, you want to take your glue stick. Mm-hmm. Um, look what I just, I picked up. Oh, very good. <laughs> Okay, I so just gotta like that. put the glue on the circle and then I stick this in the middle. Put the white circle on the black circle. Okay, because I'm looking at this, looking at what that looks like. And then copying it exactly. Very nice. I'll do the other one. Oh, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was kind of fun rather than trying to pick it up yeah. and get glue on your fingers. Very, very fun. Um, yes or no. Okay, and then always put your, oh, nope, never mind, Miss Barb, you oh, got it, you need your glue still. Here we go, okay. All right. All four tires are complete. Yes, all right, so oh, yes. we are going to want to put the tires, so we also have to make sure that everything is even on the side because it needs to have all the tires um, at the same level, level. so yeah. it will it will stand. So the first one is going to just be what you're going to do. You just take your first one and then you match the rest of those oh, to it. Okay, that's easy enough. So you want to put some glue on half, half of the tire. Okay. And maybe a titch on the body of the car, just where you're going to place it. Right, okay. So some glue here. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Get the edges here. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay. And then just choose a spot. Yeah. You said a titch on the thing. Put it right there. Okay. 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 There you go. Like that. Um, yep. Then you just want to squeeze it for a little bit. A little tiny bit. Okay. Put it. Move it a bit. You have some some room, some wiggle room, as they say. Yep. Okay. And then I just have to match up the other ones to this. Is what you're saying. To the to the. Um... So they touch the height, the, the height I okay. guess is the right word. So they touch I the think table. If I just line this up, let's see. It's so fun doing crafts with you. I like crafts because you can just kind of take your time, use your imagination. And the best part about a craft is that if you do it, you sit down and actually do it it gets done and then you have a craft when you're done <laughs> instead of just a, a shelf of all of the craft supplies yeah <laughs> a, a completed craft is often much more fun than a craft <laughs> undone still sitting in the bag yeah. on the shelf yep <laughs> i'm sorry but i have a few of those i get to the craft store and i say oh how cute how cute how cute i could make this and this and this yeah yeah but sometimes you just got to do it well that's how i can sometimes have all these extra items at home that I right. can use for craft cleaner. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, that's good for us too, because now we get to use the little, that little extras you've been saving. Here, so for that one, I I had a helper hold this. Hold it, okay. And so you can kind of see. Just eye it, like right there. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Just kind of, you got to put two wheels on the ground and then you can put your other wheel where it's supposed to be. Yeah, but they need some good squeezes. Yeah. All right. And this one's a yeah. little more difficult to do with tape, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Am I rushing through it? Oh dear, oh dear. It's good. We still have some good many steps to go. Okay. Well, I got my last tire here. You gotta have at least four tires. We're not making a bike, we're making a race car, children. Yes. Vroom, vroom. Whoo. Okay, I think I got these aligned. I got the tires aligned. That's a car thing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm very good at car things, as you know. So, um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that's we, that's we, what I got. Yeah. That works. That works. Okay. <laughs> All Maybe right. It's a little. Okay, we're good. Well, we can we can adjust it if we need to. All right. Now we're gonna put on the front and the bumper. The front. What do you call that? The grill. 
bumper. The grill, yeah. And then the bumper. Car things. And these, those were just to. With, with glue? Um, actually, miss, yes, go ahead and do the glue um, on the outside of the circle. Okay. And let's just put that on the one end first because I'm gonna put the people, the people in next. Oh, okay. Here, ooh, very cool. Very purple and yellow, very chic. <laughs> you know, what they say when ooh, ooh. something is very fashionable. Yeah, this one was, you gotta give it a good little bit to. to now, something I'm noticing is I probably should have put the wheels more in <laughs> to the thing so that this would have sat flush. But I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. We can always trim, trim a wheel if we need to or trim the bumper. Uh, yeah. Okay. What's next? All right. So the next I was going to put on the person. Now with these, I bought years and years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure that they're still available at one of the crafts. That's okay. In town. But if you, you don't need a person necessarily, it's just going to be a car. For this craft. Um, for this mean. craft. Yeah. Yeah. So to do, put the person in, um, I used an X-Acto knife. Now this is something you should not be using. <laughs> This is something for an adult, but I'm guessing, looking at this one, we just need to make a little uh, spot, right. yep. so. a driving spot for, okay, I'm just gonna freewheel this. Da, da, da. Is this right? Yeah, this good? that's right. And then you're gonna actually wanna make it a little bigger, go in on um, real close next to it and just make another, whoop, we lost our, we lost our yellow, but that's no, okay. We'll that's why glue is, so handy because you can reuse it. Okay. I'm just cutting it out from that piece. Yeah. All right. Let's see how you get it cut. Okay, I got a little spot for the person. Is it too small? I hope it's not too small. No, it'll be fine. So um, put some glue. Uh, let's put him in first and see how it goes. Right. Oh, I think he... There he is. Okay. Good Look deal. at that! Boom, boom, boom! Good deal. Boo, 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 boo. Okay, I need to like, re-glue this business. Okay, let's do that last. Okay. Because they like to fall off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's some stickers. Stickers! Some stickers I got. All right. Um, and then just put your numbers in the between the two wheels. Okay, yes. Just putting the, doing the little last decorations. Here we go. I love these stars. Very, what do we say, chic? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I don't want to put them where the numbers are going to go. There so that's, maybe on top. There we go. Yeah, put them all on top. And I got one more, a blue one. One of my favorite colors. Well, and I have to confess that I decided to make this car purple because it's Oh color. yes, as we know. <laughs> well, Miss Barb, we can't have all the crafts be purple. We can't just have a purple craft wall. We have well, to have I many can, colors. I can try as much as I can. Well, I've I've put, I've done exactly what I said I should not do, and put it where it needs to not be. Okay. Oh, the star. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So and then I'm putting this the the number stickers here. Ba da da! Amazing. Forty. That's a good number. That's a good number. Is anyone here forty years old? <laughs> Sound off in the comments below. <laughs> um, okay. Or we've got 15 over there. 15. Not sure that's the target audience for reading Time of the Queen, oh, but you never know. I know. I'm sure one of your parents is 40. Um, okay. Or maybe both. Or okay. maybe all of them. I don't know. Okay. Let's retry putting our ends on. So let's put some. Oh, well, yes. Glue on both sides. Okay. And also maybe put some glue on the out the edge of the tube All right, right here. This might be one of those things that we need to just like let dry is what I'm getting from this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do that with the... Putting lots of glue on, there we go, there we go, there we go. Da -na -na. Okay, and then back and front. And there we go! Is it done? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, yes! Yeah.
Yeah, I yeah. Just, I just had to look at my table and make sure oh, everything I lost got picked the bag. up. Okay. Yes, I, I I do think that we're gonna have to let this dry, but it is in effect complete. Oh, I've done it again. Mm. This is this is one of those embarrassing craft corners where everything's these are, these are the bloopers. still needing to dry. These are the bloopers that we have to leave in. <laughs> <laughs> but now these two are ready to race. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. There we go. Well, thank you so much for making this craft with us, Miss Barb. For teaching us how to make this craft. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And I like this because not only did we get something done, we made something into something new, but also when this is dry, we can play with it. We can uh, make believe, use our imaginations, pretend. It's very fun. Mm -hmm. It's true. All right. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I think we're going to send it off to Mr. Lance. Yes, Mr. Lance. Did vroom, we... vroom on to Mr. Lance. Yep. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. So right now, we're going to read one of my favorite books. Uh, this was a book that I had when I was your age. Forever. <laughs> this is called Mike Mulligan and His Steam Shovel. And it's by Virginia Lee Burton. All right. Mike Mulligan had a steam shovel, a beautiful red steam shovel. Her name was Marianne. Mike Mulligan was very proud of Marianne. He always said that she could dig as much in a day as a hundred men could dig in a week. But he had never been quite sure that this was true. <laughs> Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann had been digging together for years and years. Mike Mulligan took such good care of Mary Ann, she never grew old. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who dug the great canals for big boats to sail through. They dug away so that the boats could get around. Ooh, ooh fun. <laughs> it was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who cut through the high mountains so that the trains could go through. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who lowered the hills and straightened the curves to make the long highways for the automobiles. Look, there they are, they're digging it out so that the, all the cars and the buses and the trucks have roads. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who smoothed out the ground, filled in the holes, to make the landing fields for the airplanes. It was Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann and some others who dug the deep holes for the cellars of the tall skyscrapers in the big cities. When people used to stop and watch them, Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann used to dig a little faster and a little better. The more people stopped, the faster and better they dug. Some days they would keep as many as 37 trucks busy taking away the dirt that they had dug. A lot, a, lot of, yeah. Yeah. a lot of trucks, <laughs> lots of dirt. Yeah, the same <laughs> you can see some of them here. That's a lot of trucks. Stop. Stop. Then along came the new gasoline shovels, and the new electric shovels, and the new diesel motor shovels, and took all the jobs away from the steam shovels. Uh -huh. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann were very sad. And look, you can see here, look how sad they are. They're all sad, they're crying, and there's a little sign that says, no steam shovels. Oh, no. It does, it says, no steam shovels wanted. How sad. All the other steam shovels were being sold for junk or left in old gravel pits to rust and fall apart. And Mike loved Mary Ann. He couldn't do that to her. He had taken such good care of her that she could still dig as much in a day as a hundred men could dig in a week. At least he thought she could, but he wasn't quite sure. Everywhere they went, the new gas shovels and the new electric shovels and the new diesel motor shovels had all the jobs. No one wanted Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann anymore. Then one day, 
Mike read in a newspaper that the town of Popperville was going to build a new town hall. We are going to dig the cellar of that town hall, said Mike to Marianne, and so they started. They left the canals and the railroads and the highways and the airports and the big cities where no one wanted them anymore. And they went out into the country. You can see, you can see, there they go. They're leaving behind all the big cities. They're going out into the farms. They crept along slowly up the hills and down the hills till they came to the little town of Popperville. When they got there, they found that the selectmen were just deciding who should dig the cellar for the new town hall. Mike Mulligan spoke to Henry B. Swamp, one of the selectmen. I heard, he said, that you are going to build a new town hall. Mary Ann and I will dig the cellar for you in just one day. What? said Henry B. Swamp. Dig a cellar in one day? It would take a hundred men at least a week to dig the cellar for our new town hall. Sure, said Mike, but Mary Ann can dig as much in a day as a hundred men can dig in a week. Though he had never been quite sure that this was true. Then he added, if we can't do it, you won't have to pay. Henry, <laughs> Henry B. Swap thought that this would be an easy way to get part of the cellar dug for nothing. So he smiled in a rather mean way and gave the job of digging the cellar in the town hall to Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. So they're gonna dig a cellar. A cellar's like a basement. So they're gonna dig out a basement for this new building. If it was, if it was my basement, that would be easy. <laughs> <laughs> they started in early the next morning, just as the sun was coming up. Soon, a little boy came along. Do you think you will finish by sundown? He said to Mike Mulligan. Sure, said Mike, if you stay and watch. We always work faster and better when someone is watching us. So the little boy stayed to watch. You can see they're starting. They've got it mapped out where they're gonna start digging. Then Mrs. McGillicuddy, Henry B. Swap, and the town constable came over to see what was happening. And they stayed to watch. Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dug a little faster and a little better. So here come the people. The constable's like a sheriff, like a policeman. They're all gonna stay and watch. This gave the little boy a good idea. He ran off and told the postman with the morning mail, the telegraph boy on his bicycle, the milkman with his cart and horse, the doctor on his way home, the farmer and his family coming into town for the day, and they all stopped and stayed to watch. That made Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dig a little faster and a little better. They finished the first corner, meet and square, but the sun was getting higher. So here's all these people coming in to watch. So a lot of things we don't really have anymore, but at the time those were pretty important things. We don't really need them now, but it's important to Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann to have them. Clang, clang, clang! The fire department arrived. They had seen the smoke and thought there was a fire. Then the little boy said, why don't you stay and watch? So the fire department of Popperville stayed to watch Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. When they heard the fire engine, the children in the school across the street couldn't keep their eyes on their lessons. The teacher called a long recess and the whole school came out to watch. That made Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dig still faster and still better. Then they finished the second corner, neat and square. But the sun was right in the top of the sky. Oh, they're running right out of time, yeah. They've got two corners. That's <laughs> right there, the same way. We, like. we are doing, we are. <laughs> We're doing good today. <laughs> now the girl who answers the telephone called up the next town news of Vanderville and Bopperville and Kipperville and Copperville. Thank you. 
go down so fast. Hurry, Mike Mulligan, hurry, shouted the little boy. There's not much time. Dirt's flying everywhere, and the smoke and steam are so thick that the people can hardly see anything. But listen, bang, crash, slam, louder and louder, faster and faster. He said go down. Then suddenly, it was quiet. Slowly, the dirt settled down. The smoke and the steam cleared away, and there was the cellar, all finished. They made it! Yay! Four corners, neat and square, four walls, straight down, and Mike Mulligan and Mary at the bottom, and the sunlight just going down behind the hill. <laughs> Hooray, shouted the people. Hooray for Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. They have dug the cellar in just one day. Or pretend that something's true. 
You can wish or hope or contemplate a thing you'd like to do. But until you start to do it, you will never see it through. Cause the make-believe pretending just won't do it for you. You've got to do it. Every little bit, you've got to do it. Do it, do it, do it. And when you're through, you can know who did it. Cause you did it, you did it, you did it. If you want to ride a bicycle and ride it straight and tall, you can't simply sit and look at it because it won't move at all. But it's you who has to try it and it's you who has to fall sometimes. If you want to ride a bicycle and ride it straight and tall, you've got to do it. Every little bit, you've got to do it. Do it, do it, do it. And when you're through, you can know who did it for you. Bike, read a book, doesn't matter. Alrighty, yes! Now it's the end of our program. Thank you for sticking around! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.